Hello there. Aroha Media is back with a basic timeline control tutorial to create play and stop buttons using Flash Action Script 3.0. In this tutorial, we are going to see basic action scripting in Flash. Action Script makes Flash special by working on the interactive experiences. In this file, we'll create an animation which can be controlled by the play and stop buttons. We start up with Action Script 3.0, new file, and save it. Name the very first layer as Animation, where the actual animation will take place. Draw a circle and convert it into movie clip named Ball 1. Let's have a quick and simple animation for the ball here. We have just shifted the ball's position. Now, add a new layer and name it Action, where we will work on the action script. Right-click on its blank frame and select Actions to get the action panel or simply press F9 on the keyboard for the shortcut. Give the stop action to it. That means, even if you taste the movie clip now, the animation won't play for now because it's been stopped with the action to it. Now, it's time to add the play and stop buttons. Add a new layer for them and name it as button. Go to Windows menu, Common Libraries, Buttons. Here you can find all the preset buttons which can be used. Go through all the buttons but pick out the needed play and stop buttons and drag them to the stage on the button layer. If you test now, play and stop buttons may animate but won't work for the ball animation. We need to add action script for both of them. So, going back, we need to add the instance names for the buttons. You get the instance name field in the properties panel. Name the instance name for the play button as play underscore btn and for the stop button name it as stop underscore btn. These are the names which will be used for the scripting. From Windows menu, library, open the current documents library. Add a folder as movie clip and shift the ball one movie clip into that folder. Similarly, add one more folder as button and shift both play and stop buttons in that folder. Folder and naming system helps in fast working, especially for big files. Now, shift the action layer at the topmost position in the timeline. It's time to add the actions for the buttons now. So again select the action frame and press F9 for the action panel. We will first add the action for the play button as the ball is already stopped. Let's check the movie. Click on play button and it's really working right. This is nice. So, let's add a similar action for the stop button. Write the function and mouse event listener to the stop underscore btn which is the instance name for the stop button if you notice between the function and event listener we have added open and closed brackets inside that open and closed bracket 
we have added the actual action which will be performed by the particular button. Now let's test the movie clip which is almost ready. Look at that, it's working. That's great. In this file, we'll create an animation which can be controlled by the play and stop buttons. Here, we will create a single movie clip for the animation and also for the buttons. So, start with a new flash file and save it at the same time wherever you want. Create an exact circle on a new animation named layer and convert it into a movie clip. Side and again convert the ball into a new movie clip and name it Ball 1. Name the same to its layer. Let's create a fast animation of the ball here. We are ready with the ball motion. Exit to main stage. This animation underscore MC movie clip is going to be used in the action script. So name its instance to as animation underscore MC. Test the animation at this stage. It's working fine. Now, it's time to add the buttons. So, add a new layer and name it button. Go to Windows menu, Common Libraries, Buttons and take a look at the default buttons available in the Common Library. Out of all of them, grab the needed play and stop buttons and place them on the stage. Hit Control plus enter. Here, exactly what we want is to stop the ball animation when we click on stop and play the animation when we hit the play button. So, before we add the action script, give the instance name as play underscore btn to play and stop underscore btn to stop. In the timeline, Add a new action layer to add the action script to it. Press F9 to get the action panel. We need to add a function to make the animation stop first. Read carefully how we are adding the action script. After the function, Add the instance name between the open and close bracket on which that function will be applied. That is animation underscore MC. Again, let's test the movie clip. Animation is in one movie clip and buttons are in another movie clip. First of all, save the file by any name you want.
on that animation layer. Select it, press F8 and choose Movie Clip. Name it Animation underscore MC. Step inside it and again convert the circle into a new movie clip named as Ball 1. Also name that layer as Ball 1 where its animation will be done. Extend and create a new keyframe at frame 60 and another new keyframe at 30. We move the ball to other position on frame 30. Apply motion twin to the frames and check the ball animation. Now, we need the buttons which will control the animation play of this ball. Those buttons will be on another layer as well as those will be a different movie clip. So, add a new layer on the main scene and name it as buttons. Now, go to Windows menu, Common Library, Buttons and you see a library full of different style buttons available. Out of it, find and drag the exact buttons of play and stop below the ball. Done. We got both of them. Select them and convert them into a single movie clip named button underscore MC. Step inside and name the layer also as button. Now on the main stage, we have two movie clips ready with us. Out of that, to the ball, give the instance name as animation underscore MC and to the buttons, name the instance name as button underscore MC. Similarly, we need to give different instance names to individual buttons. Give play underscore BTN as the instance name to play and stop underscore BTN to stop. Now, the animation should play when we hit play and should stop when we hit stop. For that, we need to add action script. Add a new layer named action. Select that frame and press F9 to open the script panel. Watch carefully how we are adding the script. We are using the instance names in the action scripts. In the same space, we are giving the action to the stop button. Don't forget to add the instance name of stop button. Done. Let's test the movie. Yes. The stop button is working exactly like we wanted. Now, let's add the similar action for the play button. So instead of stop, we will replace it with play for the play button action. And the animation should start when play is clicked. Let's taste both the buttons now. Yes, both the buttons are functioning properly. We did this by keeping the ball animation and buttons in different movie clips. Hope you liked learning about scripting Play and stop. Arahamedia will be back with some more action script fun. Thank you for watching.